Hi, Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint walls after removing the wallpaper. If you want to purchase some of the tools that we use for this project, please check out the links in the description below. And also, please feel free to check out my tool store. The links are also in the description below. With that said, let's do this. This is the area that we're going to strip, prep and paint. The tools and materials that you will use and might need for this task is a rad roller, a 9 inch roller, a paint scuttle, a roller pole, a paint kettle, a paint brush, Jiprog Easy Fill 60, a multi-tool, filling knife, cork board, dust brush, some 80 grit sandpaper, decorator's cork and a cork gun. Right, first of all we need to strip the wallpaper. I'm using my multi-tool scraper um, to strip this wallpaper and just to let you know it's not everyday wallpaper comes off this easy so I did get lucky. I was hoping it would be a bit harder and then that way I could have shown you a bit more but you know what We'll have to do another video because we will come across the same scenario again, that's for sure. What I'm doing now is loosening this light switch with my electrical screwdriver. I do this because I want to get the sandpaper right in behind it to clean it out with the um, sandpaper. I also like to sand the back of the light switch as well, like around the edge to make sure it's all clean once it's screwed back. See, because this wallpaper come off so easy, it only left the odd little bit of backing paper on. So what I do is wet it, leave it to soak, then scrape it off. Now it's stripped and all the backing paper has been removed and the walls dry. It's now time to give it a good sand down and a good rake where there's any cracks or a good rake down the edges of a door frame to get any loose out but really be thorough and really put some effort into the sanding when you're doing this because you want to get any glue residue off as well as you're going along this is what I mean by raking down the side of door frames it's just this this crack and you just need to rake it to get any loose out and also the rake down the crack in the wall there. I used a pointy bit of my multi-tool. Just to let you know, for the sanding of these walls, I'm using a good quality 80 grit sandpaper. If you would like to purchase some good quality 80 grit sandpaper, please check out the links in the description below. And also, if you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task, please check out the links in the description below. Now that we've finished sanding, we're ready for filling and corking. Now, I'm just running the camera around and showing you a couple of holes and the cracks that we're going to feel these are just some things that you might come across with my jip rock easy fill 60 i give it my first fill if you would like to know how to mix jip rock easy fill 60 please check out the card on the top right hand corner of the screen and once i've filled i run my cork gun up the edge of the door frame or if there's any gaps along the tops of the skirting balls as well there isn't on this occasion. What I'm doing now is just sanding any of the areas that are filled and dusting it off with my dust brush. Then I'll get some thin down paint to touch up any of the bare bits of plaster. And I also touch up the filler as well while I'm at it. When I thin down the paint I use a 70-30 ratio so I use 70% paint and 30% water.
now we've sealed all the bare plaster we're ready for giving it a light sand down and then a first coat of paint before I give it its first coat of paint I just give it a dust off but what I do is I start by cutting in the tops if you would like to know how to cut in and would like to watch a video on how to cut in please check out the card in the top right hand corner of the screen When you're applying your first coat of paint, it's important not to miss a single bit. See now we've first coated it, it highlight any other areas that need filling. So these are just a couple of bits that we need to pick up on. It's always about the preparation. So what we do now is fill them let the filler dry, sand them and spot them up which is called flashing them up with some wall colour then we're ready to give it its final coat Once again, when you're giving it its final coat, it's important not to miss a single bit. Yeah, this one ended up being quite easy in the end. I was kind of disappointed when I overstripped it. I was hoping that it was going to be a bit more difficult and it, the walls be a bit more damaged than what they um, were, but it's okay. We will live to fight another day and when I come across another one which should be or will be in a lot worse condition than this I shall film it. And there it is, all done. And that is how to paint walls after removing the wallpaper. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe, please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos, and please feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.